Importing your Microtech appliance for use in GNS3 is easy and straightforward. Go to GNS3 Marketplace and download the Microtech CHR appliance. Back in GNS3, click on File and click on Import Appliance. Locate the Microtech CHR appliance you downloaded from GNS3 Marketplace and import that into GNS3. Once done, click on the latest update version of the Microtech appliance and click on Download. This will take you to the Microtech website to download the router OS image. Once downloaded, right click on it and extract to your preferred location on your local machine. Go back to your GNS3 and click on that same version of the image and then click on import. Locate the extracted image on your desktop and import it into GNS3. From this point, it's quite easy. Just click on next, next, follow the instruction and you see the device is ready for installation. Click on next and that will run you through the installation process. Click on finish to complete the router OS image installation process. Now drag the Microtech appliance to your work area on GNS3. Do not forget to select your GNS3 VM. Drag the cloud appliance as well as the NAT appliance to your workspace as well. Connect the NAT appliance to Ether1 of the Microtech while the cloud appliance is connected to Ether2 of the Microtech. Power on your device and console into the Microtech. Prior to set a new password, set your new password. After setting your new password, you can now check the interface settings on the device. Check the IP address on the device. You see that Ether1 already has an IP address via DHCP. This is the interface that connects you to the internet through the internet connection on your device. Set ETA2 as a DHCP client to acquire an IP address from your GNS3 VM. Now that ETA2 has an IP address, it is time for you to test internet connectivity. You do not need this for your configuration. However, it is important that you have internet access just in case you need to test reachability to the internet. Head out to the Microtik website and download the Winboss application. Having downloaded the Winboss application, log into the Microtik using the IP address on Ether2. Type in your username and the password you set earlier and log into the Microtik. Now you have GUI access to your Microtik device on GNS3. You were able to use the Winboss running on your host machine to connect to the Microtik appliance that is running on GNS3. You can check the interface IP that both interfaces have IP addresses acquired via DHCP. Here you can configure all sorts of things. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you found this post interesting. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.